Each of the letters in the table above represents one of the numbers 1, 2, or 3, and each of these numbers occurs exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column. And incidentally, this is something known as a magic square. If you're interested about that, Google magic squares and find out more about them. So statement number one tells us that V plus Z equals 6. Well, the only way that we're going to add two of these numbers and get 6 is if both of them are 3. And so what that means, if there's a 3 here, it means there can't be any 3 there or any 3 here. If there's a 3 down here, it means there can't be any 3 here or any 3 here. And so it means that the only place that you could have the final 3 would be in that top box where R is. So that tells us, without a shadow of a doubt, that R equals 3. So statement number 1 is sufficient. Now forget statement number 1. Let's move to statement number 2. Statement number 2 tells us that S plus T plus U plus X equals 6. Well, the only way that we're going to add four numbers and get 6 here is if we're adding 1 and 2. So we don't know which one of these is 1 and which one of them is 2, but 1 is 1 and 1 is 2. And same with this. One of them is 1, one of them is 2. We don't know which one is which. But it means that in both cases, the only other element that could be in that row or column would be 3. So again, we have that R has to be 3. And so this statement is also sufficient to answer the question. So statement number one is sufficient, statement number two is sufficient, answer choice D.